Amen. Baita Moshe Tam, Baya Mahuli Mor. Asher and I will have no tame lach. For Hakim Bata Lecha, I want him to go. On October 5th, 2006, our dreams came true. Zachary Samuel and Noah David came into our lives for the very first time. Zach, the heavyweight of the two at birth, and probably the only time in his life he would outweigh his twin brother, would become the entertainer, the singer, the frontman, the one who would approach anyone with an outstretched hand and an infectious smile, make the requisite eye contact and say, Hi, I'm Zach. It's very nice to meet you. Noah, the strong but more reserved type, the muscle behind the front man, with a roll of the eye, would do his best trying to back up everything his brother was saying on the field, on the court, and in the rink, the only variable being what sports season it happened to be at the time. As Yael and I began the journey of parenthood, we would often talk about the things we wanted for our children, things we wanted to expose them to, lessons to learn, goals to accomplish, how many sports activities we could schedule for them over the course of a 12-month period. Okay, well maybe that was my little challenge. While we would often laugh as we saw their personalities begin to take shape, the one thing we wanted more than anything for them by far was to be kind and compassionate boys. Zach and Noah, of all the things you've been able to accomplish in your 13 years on this earth, your kindness and compassion towards others is something your mother and I are most proud of. You've both always demonstrated an awareness beyond your years to include others who may be left out, to encourage others who may have had difficulty on the field or in the classroom, and to teach others how to give it their best try no matter what challenge may lie ahead. You both explained during your speeches earlier that the concept of giving has always been a central component of your life, which you have pledged to expand. While these plans are certainly worthy of your time and attention, continue to find new ways to give of yourself. Give of your time. Give of your thoughts. Give of your love. And do it with the unrelenting energy and excitement you both have always brought to every team you've ever played for and every goal you've ever sought to achieve. And do it unconditionally with the Zach and Noah brand of kindness and compassion. One more time to give it up for Zach and Noah! Sorry, your uncle was interrupting my video. Oh, camera's over there. 
Anyway, happy bar mitzvah. Knock them dead. I mean, what do you do? It's have weird. have fun with it. Uh, dance. You dance. Oh, you can dance. Congratulations. I hope it's a great day. Jack and Noah. I would like to say, when I was born, I kind of didn't know you, and I thought you were kind of a stranger. But uh, as the years went on, I met you, and I said, wow, this isn't a, a bad person. And then you turned on the good side, and I was like, oh my god, maybe he's actually okay. Oh yeah, both. I love you. Congratulations. Hey, Zach and Noah, Shane Goss is spared here. I remember meeting you guys a couple years ago and I heard it's your bar mitzvah. I want to congratulate you both and wish you mazel tov. Zach and Noah, mazel tov. Make no mistake, life will be difficult at times and challenges may seem insurmountable. There will be instances when you've had enough and you want to throw in the towel, take the path of less resistance. It will be tempting to retreat in those difficult moments, as those will be the times when you will be tested most. While you will always have the unconditional love and support of both me and your mom, you will need to draw on inner strength and courage to overcome these challenges, and sometimes make the unpopular decision or follow the road less traveled. As one of our favorite football coaches says, attack each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Whatever life may throw your way, always make sure you know deep in your soul that you gave of yourself to the very best of your ability and that your parents, family, and friends love you unconditionally for the amazing young men you have become. We love you. Mazel tov, you did it. You're officially old now. Way to go, gang. Love ya. Enjoy being grown-ups.